So what are the unique features to Studio One and how does it stand up against other DAWs? I switched to Studio One several years ago. In this video, I wanna show you 10 different things that I believe are unique to Studio One. And as far as I know, no other DAW has them. Let's jump in. Hey, my name is Eric Miller and I help guitar players with recording and music production. In this video, I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna start with number 10 and go all the way down to number one in order of my favorite features that I really believe are unique to Studio One. Okay, number 10 is to export stems. So you can export your stems. You go up to a song and then export stems and you can export all of your stems individually in, in the simple click of one button. It makes it super handy for sharing your projects. Love this feature. Number nine is that it works on both Mac and PC. Now I know there are several other DAWs that do this, but it also allows you to collaborate with people also using Studio One. So if you go up to file um, and you click on collaboration, you can collaborate with other people using Studio One. Now you have to have Studio One Plus, but this saves time because if you were using like Google Drive or something, it saves a few extra steps where you can just share files back and forth. Uh, this is also really handy because I use, a, I use a Mac and I teach music production at a college where they use Studio One on PCs. So we can kind of go back and forth between uh, different computers and it doesn't matter. Uh, we all have the same platform. Number eight is the splitter tool. Now this is a plugin that you can apply. Uh, it looks like this, you can put it on any channel. And what it does is it splits the signal um, either right or left or a certain percentage of that effect to that track. So here I have a bass track and I have a little bit of distortion on the bass. Um, so I just put it here. And so about 50% of that channel is getting bass and the other is not. Now you can also do it so you uh, do a channel split where it splits it right and left. Uh, just a super handy tool. It's really handy for like parallel compression, setting this up, um, and you can just keep it on one track without uh, setting up multiple tracks to do that. So I love the splitter tool. All right, number seven is project templates. Now, let's say you have put a lot of work into one template. You have 30 different tracks, and you don't want to recreate that on the next one. You can save a template of that project. Um, it's really, really easy. So I have a project open up here, um, and you go over to file, and you go all the way down and click Save as Template, and it will let you save a custom template. Then the next time you go to open a new song, you can just click on New, and then you can go to User Template, and it will have your template pulled up there. So all of the plugins, all of the channels, all of the tracks will automatically be saved like that. So it's a super time saver. Okay, number six is drag and drop. So everything in Studio One is drag and droppable. So if you take an effect, for example, over here, I can drag it right onto a track in the tracks window, or I can drag it into a track right there on the uh, mixing window. And it's just, it's just super easy to do, super easy to use. You can also, I'm gonna remove that. Um, you can also reorder your effects by just dragging and dropping them. So let's say here I have room reverb, analog delay, pro EQ. Let's say I want to put the reverb at the end of the chain. I just click on it, drag it, and boom, it's there at the end of the chain. So everything is, is drag and droppable, making it just faster and easier to use. Love that feature. Okay, number five is the scratch pad. So the scratch pad is up here and you click on it and basically what it does is it allows you to um, create multiple versions of your song um, and different within one project so uh, it's really handy and you can go over here and you can rename it you can say rename scratch pad or duplicate scratch pad and it will make another scratch pad for you and then you can either copy and paste everything from your original song into the scratch pad and make a different arrangement for it and try it out um, it's really handy. You know, I, I have some projects where I have like embarrassingly like 60 scratch pads where I just have one project set up for like voiceovers and I like all the settings. So I'll just keep using those scratch pads as different projects within one project. So uh, it's a time saver for me. Hey, I wanted to let you know my brand new course, Studio One Simplified, is open for enrollment. This course is a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to exactly use Studio One 
from start to finish. It's designed for home studio owners looking to master all the features in Studio One or someone looking to switch DAWs. You can get the full details by clicking the link in the description below. All right, back to the video. Okay, number four is the select all feature. Now, I'm not sure if this is what you're technically supposed to call it, but in Studio One, you can select multiple tracks um, at the same time and apply different things to them. So for example, uh, all of my guitars are blue over here. If I right click on all of them, they become highlighted. I can right click and I can create a bus channel, which is automatically gonna route all of those tracks at once into a bus. Um, I can select all of those, let's go to the tracks window. I can select, let's say, all of these vocal tracks here all at once and I can mute them or I can solo them all at once. So you can really do um, multiple things all at once. You can even like go over to the top here and let's say these same vocal tracks are highlighted and I want to um, imp increase the input gain by two, D two, DP two dBs. Uh, so now it's both, all of these have been um, increased by two decibels all at once. So it saves you time without going through each individual track and doing it all at the same time. It's almost like grouping tracks without grouping tracks. So I just, I really like that feature. All right, my third favorite feature in Studio One is the arrangement track. So the arrangement track lets you arrange song and label different sections, but it doesn't only do that. If you click over here, you click Arranger, it'll add up a new window here. And let's just say I wanna click on that. It'll automatically name a, a part of the song. So for example, this is intro. Um, now let's see, I wanna make the intro a little longer. I'll just drag it all the way to here where this section is, ends right there. And then let's click D and it will duplicate automatically what I just created. Um, so it's super handy. So whatever you do in the arrangement window or the arrangement track, duplicates it all below here. So it makes uh, laying out a song super easy, super quick. Um, and this feature has just saved me so much time when I'm building out a song from scratch. Okay, my second favorite feature in Studio One is so cool. When I first saw this, I was totally blown away. It's the chord track, okay? So if you go over to the top up here, you click down and you select uh, chords. It'll open up this chord track where you see my chords written here. Um, and what you can do, if I click on it, it opens up like this chord wheel and you can uh, choose different chords. It'll audition them so you can hear them. Let's say that says D here. If I want to select E, it'll change it to an E and you'll see up top that um, whatever I have selected, it'll change the chord there. So that becomes F, that becomes C. Um, I can even do like seventh chords, it's a C7. C major seven, so it'll change it in the, the chord track. Now, once you have your chord progression set, you can just drag it right down into a MIDI track and it will put the chord in there all for you so you don't have to man manually play it in. Um, so it's just super cool, super time saver, um, and you can just come up with interesting chord progressions that way. All right, my number one favorite feature in Studio One is that it has its own dedicated mastering suite. It's called the project page, and it's super cool because you can master a project within Studio One really easily. You can even uh, transfer your song from the song page to the project page with only one or two clicks. So you, now you can master a full song, a full project uh, using the project page. I love this feature about Studio One. I don't need to go out and buy um, another uh, mastering software because it already comes right in Studio One. So I hope you found that video helpful. Um, I also encourage you, if you want to check out my new course, Studio One Simplified, just click the link in the description below and I will see you on the next video.